Hi everybody. This is Shared Science from Long Beach, California where creative kids dive into engineering fun. I'm Tejas and today we're going to explore the science of capturing particles and how masks help keep you safe. Hopefully everywhere you go in public you're seeing folks wearing masks and you're wearing one too even if it sometimes is uncomfortable. Wearing masks can help keep other people safe if we carry a virus. It is important to remember that even if we aren't showing symptoms we still might be sick. Wearing a mask is a way that we can protect our friends and family from getting sick just in case we might not know we are sick. When we went searching, we found so many great ideas on making our own mask. We chose a really simple one to share with you. It's great in a pinch and made from items you have at home. A paper towel, whole sheet, two rubber bands, and masking taper staples. You can make and decorate a new one every day to share your mood. Scientists have proven that wearing a cloth mask can reduce the spread of viruses in COVID-19 because they block the exhalation of virus particles from traveling a further distance and reaching people around you. It becomes even more important when you cough or sneeze because those particles travel at a rapid speed and can reach as far as 25 feet away from you. Think about a sneeze. Your nose gets itchy, you might wiggle it, and when it gets really bad you can't help but explode. Out spews a lot of wet goo. Even when your sneeze seems dry, that air is carrying particles. When you speak or laugh or cough, those particles head into the air around you. A mask will act as a protector and the particles remain trapped. A laser light scattering experiment tested how effective wearing a mask is in preventing the spread of particles. Researchers from the National Institute of Health used lasers to illuminate and count how many droplets of saliva were flung into the air by a person talking with and without a face mask. When the researcher used a simple cloth face cover, nearly all the droplets were blocked. Masks are very good at blocking larger droplets and not nearly as good at blocking tiny particles. When a person expel drops into the air, they quickly evaporate and shrink to become tiny airborne particles called droplet nuclei. These are extremely hard to remove from the air. However, in the moist air between a person's mouth and their mask, it takes nearly a hundred times as long for a droplet to evaporate and shrink into a droplet nuclei. One last test we're gonna recreate Bill and I, the science guy's experiment. <laughs> Hi, had to be done. Shakespeare in the park. I mean, try to boy. Macbeth? <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, oh. <sighs> 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 well, you can try at home. Wear your mask and try blowing on your hand. If you don't feel any air movement on your skin, your mask is doing its job. While city health orders continue to address the COVID-19 pandemic, remember the three W's. Wear a mask, watch your distance, and wash your hands often. Thanks for tuning in with Shared Science. Now ask yourselves, what can you create and innovate? What mask face are you gonna wear? See you next time.